Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you stick around and subscribe. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some laundry detergent canisters out of these. I cleaned Hobby Lobby out of their Easter clearance and this is what I'm going to be using so stay tuned. Okay, so first what I'm doing is I'm taking my heat tool and I am going to go all around the frames on just the square ones because I'm not going to have to do those on the other ones. So I'm going to go all the way around a couple of times with my heating tool and I'm going to remelt the adhesive that's already on there. And after I do that, it'll be easier to uh, push the piece through. Okay, and now I'm just going to press with my thumbs, give it a firm press, and it should pop out. Careful if you have long nails, because that kind of hurt. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing to all five of these squares. So let me do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, before I... Um, put it on hold, I do want to mention you're going to need to take out the little nails from there. There's about three on each of the sides of the square and I'm just using uh, needle nose pliers to go ahead and pull them out. They come out really easy but I did leave that part out. Okay so moving forward we have these Peter Cottontail signs and these are easy because they just have those prongs and you can easily just pop those out with um, the pliers. So just lift them up and then get the, the plier and yank out the little things. You'll see what I'm doing here. And just like that, that one is done. Now let's just set this aside so we can move on to the next step. Okay, now that we have everything separated and taken apart, um, I did go ahead and get some popsicle sticks and kind of put it around the border there. And I'm going to show you how I did that right now. See how there's that lip there? I'm going to get four popsicle sticks and I'm going to put them all around. I am going to put some wood glue on that first one. I didn't put wood glue. I just kind of snugged it in there, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take popsicle sticks, cut them down to size, and then put them in each and every single one of those. And for this right here, you do not need much hot glue. You just need little dots all around uh, every every corner, every side. I meant to say wood glue, sorry. And just teeny tiny dots all the way around. That way your popsicle sticks could um, catch the glue. Okay, working on the last one here. I'm just putting everything in the place and in the thing, and I'm going to set it off to the side and grab this one. Okay, so this one. <laughs> so um, even though I took the backing out, I, I'm going to leave two of them on, but I'm going to push it all the way level to the bottom. So that way... Um, my container has a top and a bottom because we don't want anything falling out. And then what I'm going to do is just take my hot glue gun and uh, go around the borders of my little frame. And you'll see what I'm doing here. Okay. 
Okay, went ahead and did both of those. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my silicone mat because it is time to glue these all together and paint them. And to do that, we are going to be using Waverly White Chalk Paint. I'm just going to put a big, huge puddle here. And it may look like I'm using a lot, and I'm not because I still need more. And you use your fingers because it doesn't work any other way, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, here we go. So I'm going to take uh, each of my little frames there, and I'm going to give them all two coats of Waverly White chalk paint. Out of the frame, I guess. There you go. If you hear scratching and stuff like that, I apologize. My dogs do not leave me alone. They want to be everywhere I am and they make noise and everything. So I apologize if you hear all that noise. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and skip forward through here because who likes to watch painting? I don't. Haha, <laughs> saved your life. I just skipped through 36 minutes of painting and drying time. You're welcome. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our um, hot glue and wood glue. We're going to be using both. The wood glue is going to make it adhere for a long time, and the hot glue is going to uh, give me the ability to attach it right away, and so it gets a, a quick grip on it. Okay, and again, you do not need very much because the edges of this are really thin. I'm just going to go with dots, like little sections at a time. And I'm going to skip sections. So I'm going to put glue, no glue, glue, no glue, no. The reason for that is because I don't want my hot glue and my wood glue to mix. If you let your glues mix, it messes something up and it doesn't adhere correctly. And you get this big globbly mess and it's really gross. So that's why I do it this way. And then you take the hot glue and you go in the spaces where you don't have wood glue. And on this part, you kind of want to be a little bit quick because hot glue does cool uh, way quicker than the wood glue would cool. Okay, and then you're going to get one and stack it right on top of that one. Make sure it's even. And we're going to do this to all of them. Okay, and remember to put your bottom one on the bottom. And you're not going to hot glue or adhere the top one with glue at all. And I'll show you what we're going to do. But just make sure you have a bottom one, so a closed end. Okay, and here um, I got these metal hinges and screws at Hobby Lobby. You get, I think, two in a pack of the bigger ones, and it comes with the screws already. It's like wood woodworking or wood. It's in the wood section at um, Hobby Lobby. So this is what we're going to be putting on instead of anything else. Okay, we're just going to flip this on over. Put the hinge, the little uh, coily part, right below or right above, it doesn't matter, the, the line on the box. And then you can go ahead and put your screws. Um, you can use a drill. I didn't use a drill. For one, I didn't have my husband's drill with me. And two, um, it worked out really well because this wood is so thin and it's, like, I guess, dry, brittle maybe. Um, not to where you're going to break it, but the screws went in quite easily. And just like that, look, it opens and it closes. 
but we are not done with this yet. We still have to add the little uh, latch to the front, but you can see here it's fully functioning. It's not going anywhere. It's good. I forgot to paint a piece of it. I'll do that later. But um, yeah, so now what we, we're going to do is we are going to find the little lock thing and we're going to put that together. Okay, I'm just going to show you this real quick. It's the same thing. You just line those up and you screw them together. One on uh, where the top opens and then one on the bottom. And it's the same process. Okay, this I want to show you real quick. Um, you see that carrot sign right there? I also got that from Hobby Lobby. I gave that about three coats of paint. And now I am going to stick it in this top one because um, I didn't have anything else and it works. So I'm just going to glue that on there and just make sure that the top of it is level. And it's going to be using the same wood glue and hot glue mix. And once I have that on there, I am going to go in and pour wood glue um, in between both signs to give it some more stability. Okay, and if I didn't mention it before, I did the same exact thing. I just stacked them, wood glue, hot glue, I put the hinge in the back, and the clasp in the front. So now, what we're going to do is uh, distress this. So I kind of want, I want it distressed. I love distressed things. So I'm going to get some antique wax and I'm going to do that with a stencil brush and um, I'm going to go all over the place, top, bottom, sides, and I'm going to do that with both of the things, both of the containers. And right now I want to take this time and let you know that I partnered up with somebody for this. So... Um, I partnered up with my bestie Donna. She actually got on her Cricut and she made the labels for my containers. Um, and she has an Etsy, Etsy shop. You should definitely stop by there. It is Donna's uh, Creations store on Etsy. She is amazing. She has tons of good reviews. It's 99.99 five star reviews and like the other point zero one is a four but she is amazing read all of her reviews she's sends things when they're supposed to be sent her creations come out so beautiful and i will be showing you um her qr code here in just a bit but just remember the name it is donna's creations store and that is on etsy so you should definitely check her out if you want these labels the same exact ones she will cut them for you and send them out and i think it'll cost you like a buck fifty so not very expensive at all so if you don't have a cricket and you need labels made donna is your girl okay so getting back to this um you see that i am just taking my stencil brush barely dipping it and i'm just gonna go all over the container okay so here are my labels that donna made and i cut them out and I weeded them out and here I'm just going to attach them real quick. This came out really fun you guys. It was really fun. It was easy. It was it was I've been wanting these for a while. I had seen some on Amazon that I really wanted and then I talked to myself out of it because you know, why buy what you can make, right? So yeah, that's what I did. And here is what they look like. I am so excited. Yay! I did it. I had been wanting these for so long, guys. Oh, you see my bunny in there? He's still in there. That's okay. Um, So, <laughs> I just bought a small thing of pods because I have a bunch of liquid detergent left. And I did need something to put in there. But you can empty 
all of the pods in there. I just wanted to kind of demonstrate, give like a little visual of what you would use it for. I forgot to take out the tag, sorry. And yeah, this is this turned out amazing. You just put the little clasp there, it's in there, and this one I'm actually out of scent beads, so this is what I did. And usually I do buy the gain ones, but um, oh, we don't get paid till Friday. <laughs> So I had to go with Arm & Hammer. These smell really good. And, um, yeah, so I just bought one of the big containers and one of the small containers, and you could just dump those right on in there. It's going to stay. It's going to hold. And they smell absolutely amazing, I promise you. And those smell so good. But, anyway, let me know what you think. Did you like this DIY? Did you, eh, this DIY? Um, let me know in the comments. Oh, I forgot to tell you, don't forget your little measuring cup. There's a little measuring cup that you could buy at Walmart, too. It's very, it's like a dollar something. But, um, yeah, let me know, guys. Thank you so much for sticking around through my madness and... Just staying with me. I really do appreciate each and every single one of you. Um, remember, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel, please. I need to get up to, uh, my goal was 500 by the end of the month. I'm a little out of time, a couple days left. But, yeah, consider subscribing. <laughs> Stick around for more DIY slash madness in my life. Again, I appreciate each and every single one of you. God bless you and take care.